Hey everyone, I'm Nicole and welcome to my channel. Alright, today's video is about my curly hair. So I started the Curly Girl Method about 13 months ago and since then my hair has changed dramatically. If you want to see pictures of my hair transformation, feel free to follow me on Instagram. The uh, information is down below. So this is my wash routine. Um, I will show you what I do to my hair from the time I get into the shower until I scrunch it out and it looks like this. Um, so keep watching and see how I do it. Alright, so first thing I do is brush my hair out while it's dry. Next I wet my hair. Then I'm going to take my As I Am Coconut Co-Wash and I'm going to just rub that through my roots, making sure that all of my roots are uh, getting product on it. And then I'm just going to start massaging my scalp. And when you do this, you really want to make sure that you really give your scalp a good scrub because unlike a shampoo, you don't have those suds to help you break down the dirt. All right, now I'm using my uh, scalp brush. I got this off of Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. But this thing I love, it just gives your head a good massage. Um, and then you're going to rinse out the co-wash, still scrubbing your scalp, making sure everything is out. Next, I'm taking my Jesse Curl Daily Conditioner. And I'm just going to make sure all my hair is saturated. I find the easiest way to do this is to brush it out. So I'm going to take my Be Hairful brush and just run that through. And then I'm just going to tie my hair up in a little low bun so I can get on with the rest of my showering. All right, now I'm just gonna take my hair down and wet it a little bit. And I'm gonna do what we call squish to condition. So we're gonna take some water and the conditioner and we're gonna pulse it into our hair, making sure everything's getting nice and conditioned and it'll kind of get like sort of seaweed feeling. And then we're just gonna rinse it all out. All right. Next, I'm going to part my hair. I like to do this because I like having a part and also because there's coarse hairs in the back of my head that I need to get to. And I'm going to take my Anasi uh, hibiscus leave-in and I'm just going to rake it through my hair, making sure I'm getting that back section that's a little bit more coarse than my front. And then I'm just going to brush through that little coarse section I have in the back. Once again, this is just something I do. You guys don't have to. Um, but then I add a little bit more water and then I'm going to squish to condition again and add a little bit more back into my hair and continue to squish to condition. Next, I'm going to take my Aussie Headstrong Volume Mousse. I'm going to take quite a bit of it because my hair is thick. And I'm going to glaze it over the top and then flip it over, glaze it over the back, and then start scrunching it in using the rest of the product that is on my hands. Next, I'm going to grab my Mop Top Curly Hair Custard. I'm going to take a bit of this, emulsify it in my hands, and then apply it the same way that I applied the mousse. Glazing over the top while it's upright, flipping over, glazing over the back, and then scrunching it in. Um, with this, I also like to kind of wipe the backs of my hands as I'm scrunching to use the product that is squishing through my fingers um, and adding that back into my hair. I also like to add some extra water every now and then if I see that my clumps are starting to come apart or if it's starting to look like some wet frizz, I'll just add a little bit more water. And then I'm going to take my Jessie Curl Spiralicious Gel and I'm going to apply it the exact same way I did the others. Now, the amount of hair product that you're going to use um, really depends on your own hair. I have very thick, low porosity hair, so I use a lot more product than some people with thinner hair. 
that basically just takes some time figuring out your hair type and also experimenting with different um, amounts of hair products. Don't be afraid to try a little more or a little less product than you usually do to test to see if something works better. All right, now I step out of the shower with my hair down and I take a t-shirt. These work the best for me. And I'm just what they call micro plopping. So you're basically grabbing your hair from the bottom and squeezing it up to the top just to get some excess water out. I just find it helps my hair dry a little bit faster. Uh, so next I'm gonna accordion my hair onto the t-shirt down at the bottom. And I'm gonna flip a little spot over and pull it around the back of my head. Then I'm gonna take the neck of the t-shirt, put it around my neck, and then tie the sleeves in the front of my head. Now I always wash my face when it's in a plop in case there's any extra product on it. And then I like to air dry my hair. So I just take it out and wait. So this is my hair when it's dry. So you'll notice that it's still in its cast, so it's it's pretty crispy and crunchy. Um, so the next part is where the magic happens. We're going to scrunch this out. Now I like to remove my rings first because sometimes it gets caught in the clumps and then um, messes them up. Trying to be gentle of our hair. I'm going for definition so I don't want to like fluff it too much. I'm just shaking it at the roots so that you can get um, the cast broken at the top. By the way, when you do that, just stick your fingers in and shake and pull your fingers out exactly where they came from. Yeah, so that's my routine. And these are the results. I'll show you the back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful to all you new curlies out there. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!